there is a squirrel right outside the window. Look at it. It is standing here. I wish I could show you better, but the screen's in the way. And Chapel is in the window. And they're going crazy. Here's Parrish. And they're both watching the squirrel. We've seen a bird swoop down and get a um, worm. Look at Chapel. Raising his paw up like he's going to be able to, to get out the window. But this squirrel has no idea that it's torturing these cats. Yes, Jack. And I was holding Jack. He was in a better position, and then he wanted down. So now he can't turn his head. Fall. Yeah, he'll fall off this ledge because he's so big. It is Saturday, and we have had a beautiful day here. I'm doing laundry so you can hear, hear the washing machine. Uh, but we played uh, the game of life with Ashley on the front porch. And that was a lot of fun. She won by a lot. So right now, we bought some Johnsonville, I think they're called Better Cheddar or something like that, brats. Kevin's out back cooking those for us, and I'm in here uh, making some fried eggs, and I'm gonna have some toast. Basically, we're having like a breakfast for dinner. So I'll show you my plate. Sorry, that was a text. I will show you my plate uh, when it gets finished. So here's my plate. I have two eggs, and I have two pieces of toast, and I'm gonna use this mimosa jam. I really like this. Josh sent it to us. And I have one of the uh, better cheddar sausages. And Kevin has three eggs and two better cheddar sausages. So, for the first time ever, my cat that I love is under this car and she does not want to come out. Usually she comes out and she runs and she greets me. Tonight, no. she's she's just looking. Yeah, she was too She's hot. looking like, I don't want to come out tonight. So, Kevin and I had our dinner, our eggs and sausage. And now we're out for a walk because it's it's really really pretty. It's just a nice day. It's um in the low 70s probably right now. And um we're not walking in a lot of sun, so it's just really nice. going up that way. So here's the before of the bushes. I'm going to show you. We usually only have to trim these like once a year. Really, they're not, it's not like we have to do it all the time. So there's that side and here's this side. And you can just tell they need, they. it's time to be trimmed. So I'm going to get out here in just a few minutes and start doing that. And getting the parts that I couldn't reach. There's some parts that are back here. You see them sticking up that I just absolutely could not reach. But I did a good job on this bush, I feel like. Uh, it's a lot easier because I can get up on the porch and uh, I can uh, ride that railing like a horse on the porch and get this. So this is a lot easier. So then we have to sweep all this up and throw it away. But the yard looks a lot better because Kevin mowed too. So... Yeah, see, he's having to reach way over. I have, I was all the way behind that bush. It's hard to get. Well, dinner is on, or actually a late lunch is on. I guess an early dinner. Sunday dinner. Sun, Sunday dinner lunch thing. Liner. A liner. Yeah, we're, we're doing it at five, so I don't know what you would call it. So we've got our broccoli going. Um, corn, it's cream corn. Actually, we bought the wrong time. I like cream corn anyway. Um, Tammy shredding the carrots into the salad, which actually chopped I everything chopped. up. I actually chopped everything, but she did not like doing this to the carrots. There might be an easier way. I don't know. Fruit but salsa. but it, <laughs> there's a cucumber in here. There's did all kinds. Did you do those radishes? Yeah, she did the radishes. Well, they were very even. I know, they look good. Proud. Yeah. And then she's over there peeling potatoes. You going to show what's in the oven? What the main oh. dish is? And the oven, ignore if it's dirty. <laughs> Steam. 
roast chicken. Looks really good. Roast she chicken. just flipped that over, so it's got seasoning and on it. And we're going to have broccoli casserole and macaroni and cheese. Macaroni and cheese, always. I'm that's, assuming that's what the water is going for. Yes, and rolls. So now we got to get the macaroni boiling. This is how I've set the table. We left these pom-pom things up from Ashley's birthday. So Kevin likes them. He thinks it makes it look festive in here. So that's how, that's what we left, why we left those up. Uh, but I set the table the same way I always do every time. The only difference is, is I'm using these black napkins. I don't know if you all remember. I bought these from Amazon and they're huge napkins. They're like the same size that Outback Steakhouse uses. Really big, uh, but they're nice. And then Ashley wanted to do little place cards. So we just made these little place cards up and we put everyone's name on them. And, <clears throat> and then we gave each person... Um, a little sticker there's gavin's actually gave this to me mine because of the camera uh you know so just um that's what we're doing and amelia's over there of course but my nieces are coming Andrew and christina and gavin and amelia and then my nieces uh, jesse and cindy are coming for dinner and so when we get it all on the table i'll uh, show it to you so we're taking the uh, chicken out of the pan and we're doing that because Kevin's going to cut the uh, legs off and the wings so that when everyone gets here it'll be easier to just grab it off the plate but those vegetables look delicious mm. absolutely delicious so here's the finished dinner this is the chicken and Kevin uh, pulled it apart so that people could get pieces and these are the vegetables that cooked in with the chicken delicious mashed potatoes, um, creamed corn, rolls, broccoli casserole, baked macaroni and cheese, and salad. So we have leftovers and the stove is a mess I know because we just finished eating but these are the vegetable leftovers that we cooked in the same pot as the chicken so instead of pour, uh, storing them in separate containers what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna break the remainder of this chicken apart and I'm gonna put it in there and so it'll be like a stew and uh, Kevin can have that uh, Kevin and I can have that tomorrow for dinner Stay over there, Ben. Have you one? Uh, Mom, I hold on to both. So here's the Oh, 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 <laughs> because she unwinds here at the end. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So it is the next day and you saw me put all these this uh, baked chicken into this bowl that's what it looks like the next day so I'm going to dump it into this pan I figured you all would be curious how I'm gonna 
make it into a stew. It's pretty well packed in there. So I'm just gonna literally scrape it all out. <laughs> okay. And then um, I'm gonna heat my pan up. And see all this, uh, there's some liquid that's like congealed. It's like the fat, I guess. It's, it's, a lot of people probably think that's gross, but that will have some liquid in it. And so, um, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make some thickening. And that's what we call it around here. I don't know what you all call it in your area, but we just take um, some flour. There's no certain amount, honestly and I put it in this shaker. This shaker is very, very old. And I fill it up with water and then I put the lid on and then just shake it like this. And you sometimes have to let the air out like that and do it again. Make sure you get all the flour from the bottom. And then I'm gonna pour it right into here. And that's all I'm gonna do to it right now. I'm gonna let it heat up and I'm gonna see how much juice it, it forms. And uh, then if I need to add some more juice, I will. Um, I might add some salt and pepper to it. But once it heats up, I'll, uh, I'll show it to you so that you can see how it turned out. Okay, this is how it turned out. I added probably another uh, a cup and a half of water to it just to add some more juice and then we also had some salad left over from our dinner yesterday so that's what i'm having for dinner tonight i wanted to share this with you all if you like tea uh kevin and i have been enjoying this uh twinnings it's the english breakfast tea it is 100 percent pure black tea and we just take it with a uh, sweetener and the tea, that's it. We don't add uh, any uh, cream to it. because I told Kevin, I said, I wanna get used to drinking it without any milk because it just adds calories. So I can drink it with just the sugar and it's really, really good. Um, it says it's uh, smooth, flavorful, robust. Uh, let's see. It's a bright coppery red, it says. Steep time is four minutes. And it says it's their English breakfast is our most popular tea. This is not what we had at Kensington for our tea. And right now I cannot remember the name of it. Uh, what was it called? It was called like Royal, Royal uh, British something. I can't remember the name of it. But we've looked for it um, at the store and we have not found it here. It was really, really good. If, if I think of the name of it, I'll put it in here. But um, anyway, this is very good tea. It's, it's just a smooth, nice tea. I would rather have this than like flavored. I don't want any flavors in the tea, really. I just want the tea. So I wanted to let you all know that this is worth a try. And you can tell how much we've been enjoying it. <laughs> we only have like enough for two more two more times after this so and we haven't had it that long so we've we've been enjoying it quite a bit where have you been you were ignoring me last time we came yes you were under a car and you wouldn't come out yes you were ignoring me there we go always turns over there we go pretty girl Pretty girl. She's a pretty girl. She's a pretty girl. Yes, can I take you? Can I take you home? Uh, can I take you home? Yeah. In the storage container area, we've never looked over here for Pioneer Woman stuff. Ashley spotted this. She knew. I said, Is that Pioneer Woman stuff? And she said, Yes. And. The circle ones. And what do they are they separated or just one big container what's that on there for what is it's that? a steam vent oh okay but they also have these lunch bags too that are pioneer woman and they have the the butterfly on them i guess that's her symbol because those are on the top of the pots too so anyway if you want some pioneer woman bowls then you get them over here uh, where the rubbermaid containers are and stuff like that
bottle. It is a water bottle? Yeah. Let's say. Oh. Oh yeah, and it has flowers on it. Yeah. I want it all. A few vlogs ago, I think it's been a couple weeks ago, we put up the Australian flag that Sandra and Adam sent us uh, from Australia. And we were going to take this Union Jack flag down because we bought one while we were on vacation in England. Uh, we bought a new one right here and because it was really really faded so when Kevin started to peel up the edge of it um, he discovered that it looked brand new on this side so I said hey let's just flip it we'll flip it we'll have a brand new flag well then a couple of you all noticed that and you were like I hate to tell you but your flag is upside down and it's a sign of distress and we did not know i said it's the same dimensions <laughs> I, was, I was thinking ah, oh, you know that's crazy it's the same dimensions all around but uh then somebody else mentioned it and kevin said i'm gonna go look so kevin came out here and looked at the flags and he said well on the australian flag this thick white part is at the bottom and the thin line is at the top so up there again the thick one is the bot at the bottom the thin one is at the top so we started looking at the union jack and we're like okay the thick one is at the top and the thin was at the bottom on this side so kev that's what that's how you all are knowing that it means that somebody's in distress is because the thick line is supposed to be at the bottom. But I've never been taught that, and we, Kevin never knew that. It's and funny how we accidentally got it right. Yeah, we accidentally, when we hung that flag, we accidentally got it right the first time because we did not know that that's how it went. So that was a complete and total accident. So we're taking the flag down. I'm going to put my new one up. We're going to make sure that the thick line is at the bottom. And uh, we'll make sure we do it right. And I also want to show you, we bought something new at Lowe's. We bought a hydrangea bush. Ashley wanted this. This is where I told you all, um, I, I, I want a penny. I really want a penny uh, bush bad. And this is, I said, I would put it here because I was missing a rose bush. Well, I actually saw these hydrangea bushes at Walm at uh, Lowe's. And I think it was only like, I don't know, like $12, $13. And I said, well, we'll go ahead. We'll get that because Guido's using the bathroom. I was going to pan around that way. Because I don't have anything under this window. So if I want to, this is one of those plants that has the orange flowers and they're already gone. But if I want to, I can put a peony bush under the window and hopefully I'll still be able to look out the kitchen window and see it. Guido did his business. Guido does his business once a day and then we know we don't have to worry about it for the rest of the day. Um, anyway, Ashley's thrilled with that. As you can see, um, I need to get out here and I need to trim these bushes back here like I did the ones out front. It, it's just really, really hot. So um, that will probably get done on a cooler day or closer to nighttime uh, because this, this looks horrible. This rose bush has just gone wild. And actually there was one rose bush here and it has, uh, what is the word? Is it like molted or something into two bushes? I don't know what that word is. Anyway, there's two bushes now and there was only supposed to be one. So, um, but they, they really need to be trimmed and the bushes need to be trimmed because the bushes are looking, looking pretty bad too. But do you need help? Ooh, fancy. That looks like a superhero cape because it's so shiny. Now the, the thick is at the, the thick is at the, the bottom on that side how do you remember that because one side has the thick at the bottom and the other one has the thin at the bottom see look this is thick and that's thin and that's thick and that's thick, thin thick, thick, thick. I'm never here. gonna remember that but if, see that's upside down if somebody tested me I would never the, remember that the 
flagpole side. Do they test you on that when you go to be an English, uh, a British citizen? Okay. To get my citizenship, I need to know these things. Okay, so we're gonna hang this up. We're actually, it would fit probably down here, but we're gonna hang it up. Um, we had to hang the Australian flag. We had to hang the Australian flag up high because it was it was a lot wider and it wouldn't fit in this little space. But you can see it from the next road over. So I told Kevin when we rehang the British flag, I want to hang it up in this area too so that you can see it as well. So there we go. There it is. And I think I'm going to wash this old one and just see what happens with it. I'll wash it. Yeah, it has a couple tears in it, so I'll wash it and see what happens. But I'll try to show you what I mean as far as, I don't know if you'll be able to see or not. But you're on, when you're, when you're driving down this next street over, you can look over here in our yard. Oh yeah, there you go. So you could see, you could see the Australian flag, the back of it. And I wanted you to be able to see the back of the Union Jack as well both of them we hear you we hear you today Kevin and I got a box a big box from the PO box this is an unexpected gift and who's it from Winky Tammy winking winking Winky girl, girl boots. boots in Arvada, Arvada, Colorado, is that? Might say on there. Winking Girl, Winking Girl Foods. Daringly delicious, it says. Hi, Tammy, hope you enjoyed the sauces and skillet sauces, Julie and Sarah. This is their card. Winking Girl, and I like the, uh, I like the retro look of it. Okay. Oh my goodness. And there's other things in there too. What do you want? I want anything. <laughs> Any uh, sure? Is there a jar? Ooh. There's foam. There's foam all in the box because uh, it said fragile on the box, and so it's because it's jars, and so there's going to be foam all over everything. That's okay. Winking girl, tomatillo. Is that how you say that? Tomatillo I salsa. So. This is mild. Okay, I'll have to wipe all this. Yeah, I'm getting all this. Winking yeah. Girl Sauces Authentic Taste was created in my kitchen over 10 years ago, quickly becoming a hit at every gathering I attended. Citrusy sweet tomatillos combined with other carefully selected ingredients become a tantalizing treat for your taste buds. It's our secret to livening up Mexican cuisine, grilled fish, eggs, just about anything. Try bringing a daring dip to your next party by combining avocado or cream cheese with any of the Winky Girl sauces. My approach to salsa food and life is the same. Dare to try something different. I dare you to live your life to the fullest. And they are at winkinggirl.com. It's uh, This product is certified paleo, non-GMO. Um, two tablespoons is only 20 calories. That's something that I love about salsa is if, if you're dieting, salsa is the way to go. You just have to count your tortilla chips or whatever, or whatever, you do. whatever you're going to dip it in. Yeah, it's, um, <laughs> but salsa is, is perfect for a diet. Okay, this is, okay, th this was the tomatillo salsa in the mild. And this is the same thing in hot. Can't wait. And this is medium. Okay, so I'll admit we have them all. We have them all. There's two more jars. Okay, so they're saying that they put them with eggs and fish. See, I'm thinking when I see stuff like this, I'm thinking either uh, tortilla chips or chicken. chicken, baked chicken. We like to do the baked chicken. Okay, this is <laughs> Chipotle. Tomatillo salsa Chipotle. I can't wait. Non-GMO, gluten-free, paleo-free, dairy-free, vegan. They got them all. So anybody can try this. Anybody would be happy with this. 
And something that I'm not used to is they're all green. Uh, you know, I'm used to buying red Very sauce. Awesome. Uh, yeah, so, and this is a tomatillo salsa in the cranberry mango. Make sure I got it. Okay. These are skillet sauces. There's two of them. Oh, okay. Red enchilada skillet sauce, medium. Fajita skillet sauce in medium. Now we love to eat fajita meat. I'm wondering if this would be like the sauce that they put the could be tacos the, the the sauces. Fajita skillet sauce. It says marinate uh, one pound sliced sirloin skirt or flank steak. Yeah, so just That's meat. Yeah, yeah. Just beef. Okay, and this one, the enchilada says. Picture. Make traditional roll enchiladas or try the super fast 10 minute skillet meal and it's with ground beef So oh. she's given you the recipe oh. a recipe on the back. This is green enchilada skillet sauce And there is another recipe on the back uh, With you can use ground beef or you can make it with regular enchiladas and then this is classic taco skillet sauce so I'm assuming like we use our, ground beef for and tacos. we use the powder and water. You so you would use the powder, you would use this because this is a liquid. How, many, how much hammer does it say to put it in? It says one pound. Oh. Yeah. For that whole package? Yeah. Well, yeah, one pound. Surprising. It says other serving suggestions, taco stuffed peppers. That sounds good. Breakfast tostada with eggs, fish tacos, and taco rice bowl. Mm. Fish so tacos. You, yeah, putting it with rice, that would be easy too, wouldn't it? It would be. So, uh, thank you to Winking Girl 2, Julie and Sarah, I want to say your names again, at Winking Girl. This was such a, a great surprise, and you know we'll do videos on all of these so, um, so that everyone else can see them too. And a lot of these cook, cooks in 10 minutes, all of these. So that's great that it's a, it's a fast meal. So thank you very, very much. We really appreciate it. So Gavin's birthday is coming up very soon and Ashley and I wanted to show you what we got for him. This is a, a, what Ashley is giving him. So Ashley, you show what you got him. You got him a t-shirt. I bought him this robot t-shirt that I thought was really cool. This um, blue t-shirt and then these khaki little cargo shorts that are stretchy, which are super nice when they're that age. Um, and I thought they both, it matched both shirts. So I thought that was good. Um, and then it, those were from Target. And then at Walmart, I bought him this Nerf gun. And I also bought him a refill pack because I knew those were going to be lost in about 10 minutes. <laughs> so yeah. I bought him, I think it has 20, 24 darts in there. So. Oh, that's good. Yeah, so there's 24 in there and 6 in there. So that would be plenty. And then the last thing I bought him was from Costco. It's called the Rookie Learning Kit for kindergarten, which in pre-K. Um, it has practice pages, number pages, um, alphabet flashcards, nursery rhymes. These are like game pads. So I wanted to open it up and see what was in it at the store, but you can't because it's tied. Um, so we'll just have to see if it's any good. She'll have to tell me. So Kevin and I bought Gavin this uh, Superman bank. And it is a huge coin bank is what they're calling it. Um, Gavin loves getting change. And so he will really appreciate that. And then we got him uh, two sets of these Mighty Minis. Uh, they're the Justice League. And in this package you have three men. And it comes with an extra like a mask that you can put over their face, over their head. And then we got him this one and that one might have something that one has something extra i can't tell and then we got him these play-doh uh, bath soaps and literally it's moldable play-doh that you use in the bathtub and i figured he would love that and i bought this in the section at walmart where you see like the um like the shampoos that are shaped like ninja turtles and stuff like that the kids um that's where this was and it was only three dollars but i thought he would love that and then we bought him big hero six on blu-ray and i bought him the big hero six busy book and if you've seen these busy books i bought him a ton of these before it's actually a book has a story but then in the back it has a play mat and it has all these figures from Big Hero 6. So I figure he can um, play with the figures as he watches the movie. 
And then I bought him two shirts. I bought him a, a Pokemon shirt. And I bought him a, a Dory Nemo shirt. Just stay calm. And then his big gift this year is this Batman Batcave. And it comes with a Batman figure. And it's over four feet tall. That's what's on the front of the box. And then, oh, the back is turned sideways. <laughs> turned sideways, there we go. Okay, this might be kind of a bad angle, but um, someone had asked me, are we gonna talk about Big Brother? And so, I'm not gonna talk about it for a long time because I know a lot of you probably don't watch it and it's probably boring to you if you don't. We're talking about the US version. Now, Kevin and I have been watching the UK version and I personally like the UK yeah, version I better. I, I, we've said this in the past. And yeah. if I were to play, I would rather play the UK version. Yeah. Um, it's just... It's a major difference in form. Huge difference. Anyway, so we that that said, uh, somebody asked, uh, several of you have asked, are we going to give our thoughts about what's going on this season? Uh, what they're doing this season is uh, they're giving the contestants, the house guests, temptations. And so, the first temptation, well, they'll give them temptations, and then if somebody accepts the temptation, then there's always, like, a, a price to pay. Yeah. Right. So, the first temptation was um, $25,000. The first person to buzz in to say they wanted this $25,000 won the, won the money. Uh, but there was going to be a consequence and the consequence was an old house guest which was uh, Paul came back into the house and changed places with somebody yes so and somebody else person, had to leave and the person that claimed the money could not he had to throw the head of household competition right which it ended up it didn't matter, it didn't matter anyway, anyway. Um, I would have been pushing that button so fast that's what I was going to ask Kevin would you have pushed the button I don't know I would have been pushing it back because, I, I mean, even if I get voted out that episode, hey, $25,000 is more than I had before, and I could redo my bathroom for that. That's right. You know? I, we can, I could that's redo right. room all of our bathrooms. We can redo so, our I mean, room you know, why wouldn't you take $25,000 free? Exactly. Crazy if you didn't. So then, because he took the money, uh, basically, long story short, somebody ended up having to go home, yeah. and... Uh, it was Cameron, this uh, guy that went home. I was glad that he was the I one didn't care home. anything about him anyway. He seemed like he would get on my nerves really, really quick. So mm -hmm. I was glad he went home. There's another one that's going to get on my nerves really quick. Josh. I, no, no, no. That Renee got, well, him too. Um, that guy right there, Ramsey's. Now, see. Oh, he's a little too over the top for me. Ramsey's is over the top. Ramsey's, though. I like him. I think he has a lovable personality. Yeah, I think he's, he's just, just very excited to be there. It could be, and he, maybe he'll calm down, and I'll like him better. But right now, he's all over the place. He's like a big, uh, big brother super fan, and he just loves uh, the, being in the big brother house. And I think he's just really excited. Yeah. I can understand what you're saying, yeah. but once he calms down, he'll be all right. But now, Josh, I don't like Josh just because he's a jerk. Josh seems he seems um, unbalanced. <laughs> He, d he does. He seems very unbalanced. He has cried <coughs> multiple times for no reason well, since he's been there. Okay, whatever. And then um, he uh, th thinks that everyone's plotting against him behind his back. So, you know, and I mean, they just got in the house and everyone's plotting against him. So, I mean, he's... He's a little, uh, I think he seems unbalanced, and he has this personality that's up in your face and very blunt and very, I just, no, don't like him at all. Uh, so he can go anytime. So we've got the we've got the <laughs> contestants pull up on our computer so we remember the names. That's why we're looking over here. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking over here because there's no way I can remember their yeah. name. I don't even remember them after the whole season. <laughs> no, um, neither. Now, uh, Cody... Cody, Kevin has said, Cody is the military guy. Kevin said uh, that he did not care for Cody. No, he's just not very personable. He's, he seems to be, he's playing the game a little too early he's for me. He's very, very serious. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's picked his people that he likes, and he's really friendly with them. But it's hilarious how he communicates with the other people. He literally ignores them. It's, like, they'll be sitting there talking to him, like, oh, what do you think about this? And he'll just, it's crickets. He'll literally just stare at him. And he won't even talk to him. It's like, okay, you've got your little group, but you can still talk to the other people. Because trust me, those other people are going to 
be your butt later on. So you're gonna have a social game too. I don't think his social game is very good. He's um, he's pretty r blunt. He's he's kind of rude. Yeah. That's rude to ignore people. Yeah, I mean, I don't dislike him. I just think that he. I don't think he'll go very far because his social game's like. I think he's too blunt. And like yeah. when he put Megan up for eviction, he said, "I just don't like you because I just don't like you." And it was like, wow. I yeah. don't think anybody's ever said that before. And I, I haven't seen they haven't shown anything to where she would do anything. To no, I don't know that, what but, she would have done to make him yeah. not like her. So I, real quick, go through the list. Um, Christmas, I like her okay. She's fine. She's all right. Paul, uh, Paul is from last season. Crazy. Matthew, uh, I like. Matthew's okay. Dominique's okay. Elena's okay. Mm -hmm. Jason's okay. Yeah, so far. Jessica, Cameron's gone. I'm Mark, I like Mark. I like Megan. Josh, don't like. Yeah. Cody, we really don't like. Alex is She's okay. okay. Jillian's okay. Kevin's a little annoying. Kevin, I, I like Kevin. He's, he's a he's, dad. He's got like seven or eight kids. Yeah, but he's completely clueless when it comes to this He game. is, but he would be, you know, like one of us going in there. Ramsey's is okay. And Raven, Raven, uh, I he's like okay. her. Yeah. So really, there's only two people in the house right now that we really don't like, and yeah. that is Josh and Cody. Um, and, and some of them could go home and I wouldn't care, but... You know. So anyway, it looks like it's going to be a fun season. I don't know if, if we talked about everything that you wanted us to talk about, but I do think it's going to be fun, and we'll try to give updates here and there uh, when we have them for you. If something major happens or, you know, something uh, to talk about, because uh, I know you all like to like to talk about it. Well, I'm going to end the vlog for the week. Um, I know I showed you earlier uh, what we got Gavin for his birthday, and I know I'm going to have some questions. I haven't really been showing Gavin's face a lot. Like last week, I showed us playing Candyland, and I showed our hands playing on the board, but you didn't really get to see Gavin's little face. Um, that's because Andrew and Christina have decided that uh, they really don't want Gavin on the internet. If they change their mind at any point, and they decide it's okay to see Gavin, then I will film him for sure because he, this is a fun age, it really is. And, and Amelia is just starting to get into things. And so um, it's just a really fun age. So if they change their mind for any reason and they decide it's okay for him to be on the internet, on YouTube, then I will definitely film him. But for right now, um, that's why you're seeing less of the kids is because, um, Andrew let me know that he and Christina just really, you know, and honestly, I never asked permission. I just did it <laughs> because Gavin was here every day and I used to watch him and I, uh, I got pure joy out of watching him and filming him and, and now, you know, we can all look back and we can see that. Uh, so, you know, that's the only bad thing about me not filming is they have to make sure that they create, get the memories and they keep them if they want, you know, uh, somehow on their computer. Um, mine was just an easy way to, to click on it and say, oh, here was Gavin at Christmas or whatever, and then you saw him. Um, so, you know, we'll see how it goes. We'll, you know, they could change their mind at any time, but for right now, um, for the last little bit, they've just decided that they felt better not having him on YouTube. So, um, I will not be filming, um, unless they say that I can over at his house. Um, but it's been a good week. Uh, we've kept busy, uh, every single day. I feel like, uh, I'll, I'll do a lot right here at this desk every single day because, uh, there's always videos to make and things that I'm behind on and that I need to catch up on. Uh, but anyway, uh, it'll continue to be busy because of now we're watching two Big Brothers, Big Brother UK, and then the Big Brother here. So, and the Big Brother here, the Big Brother UK comes on every single day. And the one here, I think, comes on three times a week, though. So, uh, and it, it'll probably just be an hour. I would think it would be an hour from now on. The, the first night it was two hours but i think that was just to bring everybody into the house and and all that but so anyway i hope you all are having a good week and i'll see you next time